Hi Scorpio, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of July 4th to July 10th, 2022? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Scorpio, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, let's see, Spirit, Angels, and Guys, show me the energy of Scorpio in regards to love for this week. Thank you so much. Okay, first card we have here in regards to you, Scorpio, is the Ten of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Fool in Reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles. At the bottom, we have the Chariot in Reverse. With the death card in reverse and the star. So you have some kind of wish. Something, there's something about you hoping. You're hoping for something, wishing for something. King of swords in reverse, ace of wands, king of pentacles. Mm, there's something that you feel like is out of your control. We have the high priestess here upright. I feel like you're in this energy of retreat right now. The lovers, high priestess and the lovers. You're in retreat or you're keeping distance, you're keeping to yourself, but you're like suffering. I feel like you're suffering in silence. There's an energy here of you feeling like lonely, feeling abandoned also. Feeling left out in the cold. Um, Let's see, what are you wishing for? What's the star card about, spirit? The devil in reverse and the ten of cups. Okay, so you're wishing for a positive turnaround in your life. You're wishing, you're, you're wishing for a positive turnaround in your life. You're wishing for good news. Ten of Cups is like a happily ever after. Hmm. How are you currently seeing the person that you're dealing with, uh, Scorpio? What is your view of them? We have the Knight of Wands in reverse. The Six of Swords in reverse. The Four of Pentacles upright. And the King of Wands in reverse. Okay, so you see this person as someone who just kind of um, has disconnected from you. Yeah, they disconnected. They haven't been reaching out. They haven't been um, contacting you. You feel like they're being very cold towards you. They're being very detached. 
What's the Nine of Swords about, Spirit? We have Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Cups in reverse. You feel like this person is no longer like putting in the work or the effort to, to sustain a relationship with you. And it's making you feel sad. It's making you feel heartbroken. It's making you feel like maybe this person doesn't care about you or maybe they never cared about you. What's the Queen of Pentacles about? Page of Swords in reverse and the Two of Pentacles. Um, so you're not really sure if you should keep investing your energy into this relationship, if you should, you know, keep wasting your time thinking about them or waiting for them or even like crying for them, some of you. What is a Scorpio desire in regards to their relationship or connection with this person? What is Scorpio desire? We have the strength card in reverse. Okay. What else? The nine of wands. Justice. Six of pentacles. Some of you want an apology from this person. You want this person to apologize. You want this person to admit their mistakes, admit their faults. You want this person to kind of take responsibility and to, you know, put in the, put in the effort to have a equal 50-50 relationship with you. You feel like it's been one-sided with them. You also feel like you've been doing more giving than receiving. You feel like you've you've trusted this person and you've given a lot of your time and energy to this person more than you have received from them. Some of you, yeah, some of you don't even know why you care about this person. Yeah, okay. Four of Cups, Eight of Cups. Some of you don't even know or understand why you care about this person, why you have feelings for them. Some of you feel like you shouldn't, you shouldn't be having any feelings for them. But it's like your, your heart is not agreeing with your mind, you know? Because I feel like your mind is, is telling you to forget about it or is telling you that it's not worth it. Um, but your mind, your heart keeps holding on here. Let's take a look at your person and see what's going on with them. All right. Spirit, angels, and guys, please show me the energy of the person Scorpio is connecting to and dealing with and love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. First card in regards to your person is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the Six of Cups upright, the Moon upright, you might be dealing with a Cancer or Pisces, we have the Four of Pentacles, the Sun could be a Leo. The Two of Cups in reverse, and at the bottom, the Star card in reverse. Okay, we also have the Lovers. You also had the Lovers. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini. And the Page of Wands in reverse. Temperance is here, Sagittarius. And the High Priestess again with the Tower. 
And the fool could be an Aries for some of you. Or another Scorpio. All right, so in regards to their energy, the interesting energy, Four of Pentacles. Um, there's a lot of confusion in their energy. They're 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 confused. Uh, this person is kind of yeah. They're definitely like disconnecting themselves. I can see that. They're definitely in this energy of trying to kind of move on and look at other options. Yeah, they feel they're trying to they're trying to look at other options here and they're trying to kind of redirect themselves in a in a do in a new direction in their life. We have confusion though with the moon card. What's the moon about spirit? We have the moon here, I'll show you. Tell me about the moon. We have judgment in reverse, okay, and the three of pentacles upright. Yeah, they're not they're they're not really sure if this is uh something that they want to try to repair with you. If this relationship is something that they want to try to repair with you. They do have feelings for you with the Six of Cups, so I do see that they have emotion here. But I also feel like this person is trying to look at things from a practical perspective more than from an emotional perspective. There is a lot of ego here connected to this person, and I also see this person wants to focus, wants to try to focus on themselves. They feel like there's a lot that they need to like work on when it comes to themselves. And they feel like even though they have feelings for you, they feel like it's best to kind of go in a different direction, move in a different direction and have a new beginning um, elsewhere. Six of Wands and the Three of Wands. I do feel like there is ego though here. I feel like this person is a little bit kind of upset about something here. They don't have much faith that, that this relationship will work out between you two. Strength in Reverse and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, they are, they are very like cold. Their energy feels cold. For some of you, this person might be also blaming you. I'm kind of getting that also that sense of someone who's pointing the finger at you and looking at you like, like you're someone who doesn't really compromise or cooperate with them in some way. How is this person seeing or viewing a uh, Scorpio, please? We have the Page of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, oh, okay. The Nine of Cups in reverse, and the Eight of Wands in reverse. They're looking at you like you're just you're someone who just wants to be friends and nothing else. They're looking at you like you're not you're not someone who's interested in commitments or that's not what you've expressed to them or demonstrated or you know that's not what they have perceived from you. They feel like what they have perceived from you is that you just want to kind of have a casual friendship type of relationship and nothing to nothing else nothing too deep so that's their kind of assumption i guess of you they're looking at you like you might have somebody else also with the three of cups 
like you have other options and you're not really going to take them seriously. Yeah, they feel like you're just kind of having fun with them or playing around or they feel like you're not you're not interested in any type of commitment. Okay. I see it like an overall energy of them just kind of giving up. They feel, This person feels like they just have no choice but to give up. Because they do have really strong feelings for you, but they feel like it's, it's a hopeless situation, you know? All right, I'm going to continue in the extended. I'm going to take a deeper look at this person, Scorpio, and see what exactly are their true feelings for you, what are their true intentions, and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week. If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.